do you like to be the person that drives the concepts and the ideas? Um, yes, do I you, do. Do you feel more comfortable in that? Yes, I do. But sometimes it's, it depends on who you work with too. Some, you know, I'm lucky enough to work with people that I really respect and love. And uh, when you do that, it's actually a collaboration. I mean, fashion photography is a collaboration. And then if you're able to, and on the set, it tends to be you who drive it anyway. But up until that moment, up until that person walks in front of the camera, it tends to be a collaboration. Is, is there any specific part from the research to the actual image being produced? Is there any sort of part of that that you find the most enjoyable or rewarding? Uh, the most terrifying is the five minutes before you're actually going to do it because to see if this all works. Because there's a lot of people involved. Sometimes there's a lot of money involved. Uh, and it really depends on the context. I think... Um, No, I think I think the most fun is to actually do the pictures, the actual shoots. Yeah, because I, I think he, I think Hitchcock had this kind of thing that you know he hated his shoots because he'd drawn it all up, he'd done the screenplay, he knew exactly what it was going to look like, and after that it would just be one huge disappointment because he could never actually make it look exactly what he thought it should look like. I'm not like that at all. Well, obviously, if I do an advertising campaign, I want people to respond, look at that, and go, oh my god, that looks so great, I want to go up and buy that. Um, that's pretty straightforward, and that's why we all do it, and that's uh, what we're paid to do. Uh, when it comes to um, editorial work, I think it's more complex than that. Sometimes you want people to identify with it, sometimes you want people to react to it, uh, sometimes you want people to recognize it, sometimes you want people to um, feel estranged by it. I think that um, if you showed me like 15 things I've done, I'd kind of say what I want to get out of that. It's like if you're a composer, you make a mellow piece of music, you might want people to be more introvert and sad, and you make something more energetic and aggressive, you might want people to react to it in a different way. I think it's like that. I don't think you can all, you know, I don't think you can look and say, but I think maybe in that, lies the answer to your question in the way that I want people to react to it in different ways depending on what I'm doing. And, and how do you access that feedback? I don't very often access that feedback actually. Uh, I don't Google myself. I'm not going to watch this interview. Uh, I'm not... Uh, someone told me I have a Facebook page, <laughs> which is great. Uh, I'm not particularly interested in that aspect of my career at all. Yeah. Uh, obviously, there is so many different sm sort of small channels where you can get that feedback, and you have a lot of people that, I'm, I'm lucky, I mean, I hope I'm lucky, I think I'm lucky, because I think the people around me are pretty honest, yeah. and I think that they, you know, I just did a series of pictures for Japanese Vogue that my wife hated, you know, and just to use her as a reference point again, I really respect her opinion, and she was like, you know what, I really don't like those pictures. And that's fine too, you know, and then we talked about why. And then I showed them to my office. The people work in my office and they go, I think these pictures are amazing. And you go, mm -hmm. why? And then, yeah, I guess, you know, surrounding me. <laughs> and then, you know, and I, I will never, ever react aggressively in that, you know, in that context. Because I think that would just kind of cut off any honesty. No, so you have, you know, of course, and then you meet people on another shoot, and I don't think, so what do you think about this? What do you really think? And very, very often, you know yourself. Yeah. If you, it's hard to be honest to yourself. And you can gauge people's reactions. Isn't it? Yeah, it's hard to be honest to yourself, yeah. but I think that you know yourself, whether you've done, because, you know, I've done a lot of stuff that I'm not happy about, yeah. a lot of stuff. And d does it change how you feel about work that you've done that you weren't, so happy with at the time? Uh, sometimes, sometimes I can go back and look at stuff that I did two years ago and go, actually, I didn't like that very much when I did it. Uh, I was disappointed with the end result. You, the process might have been fine, but in the end, you could not feel that you quite managed to do what you wanted to do. And I guess I feel that on many levels. Uh, not because it's not good, but because if you want the level to be high, I think you'll be disappointed quite often. I, I don't think that, I don't think it's something you should be scared of, to be disappointed, right? 
because I think that if you just want to be happy all the time, you won't be very ambitious. <laughs> You know, I don't, if you if you know you'll shoot really boring pictures very quickly, uh, and sometimes it's really you know it's important to take a chance. It's important to be able to challenge yourself and actually do something. You think actually I might not be happy with this in the end, but I'm really curious to see what this process leads to and if I can do it. And I think it's much more important to be able to fall and get up again than just to walk through it all.